It's week 57 of Zer, so I'm going to show you guys his location, his inventory for this week, as well as give you guys my recommendations, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 57 of Zer, however, I do greatly apologize for not getting this video out to you guys sooner, and that was due to my twins actually being with me and I had to bring them to the pediatrician, but I am actually doing it now, so it's better late than never. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered in the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of November, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, Zer is actually located on Titan, and you want to go to the rig. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the tractor cannon. Then we have the synthoseps for the titan, as well as the Gemini jesters for the hunter. And the sanguine alchemy for the warlock. Like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. Synthoseps. Intrinsic perk on this is biotic enhancements, which buffs melee range. Uh, being surrounded buffs damage. And we also have uh, fusion rifle loader, hand cannon loader, impact induction, shotgun scavenger, as well as heavy ammo finder. Now this is definitely a good exotic in PvE and PvP for Titans, so I'm definitely going to give it a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Next is the Gemini Jesters. Intrinsic perk on this is Misdirection, which dodging disorients and removes enemy radars. This is actually pretty interesting exotic. Um, I'm probably going to rate this a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvP and definitely a tier 2 in PvE. Um, I do feel like there are better exotics out there, but these aren't bad either. On this we have Fusion Rifle Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, Bomber, Scout Rifle uh, Scavenger, as well as Special Arrow Finder. And last but not least, the Sanguine Alchemy for the Warlocks. We have High Incentives for the Intrinsic Perk, which Rifts Grant Enhanced Radar in Mark Enemies. That's amazing. So, I would probably go ahead and pair this with um, your Dawnblade, because it works perfect, because obviously you stay in your well. Um, so yeah, definitely use this. Other perks on this are Unflinching Bow Aim, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, Unflinching Sniper Rifle Aim, uh, Scout Rifle Reserves, and Special Ammo Finder. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and give this a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvP only if you are using um, the Solar Subclass for your Warlock. Any other classes, it's probably going to get a worse rating than that. Um, I definitely, this helps dramatically in that solar subclass. So, let's go over the weapon of the week. We have the tractor cannon. And turn the perk on this is repulsor force, which emits an impulse push that suppresses enemies' abilities and increases elemental damage vulnerability. If you guys don't have a tractor cannon, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely t top tier in PvE as well as PvP. Um, I'm definitely going to have to rate it a tier 2 in PvP, but definitely a tier 1.5 in PvE. As for consumables, we have your 5 of swords, and then last but not least, we have your faded engram. And as you can tell, I am broke on legendary shards. But this will still give you season 3 in prior engrams, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> exotics. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.